Well, hello everyone and welcome to this special Star Pupil Leavers Quiz. This quiz is for all of you out there who are about to finish your time at primary school, so P7 or Year 6. And I know, having taught Year 6 myself for a very long time, the end of your primary school years hadn't been quite how you had imagined them. They hadn't been how any of us imagined them. And I know there have been things that you will have missed out on, things you've been looking forward to. But I hope that perhaps there's also things that you've had a chance to do that you wouldn't have had, to, had a chance to do, maybe spending a bit more time with your families over the last few months. So in the future, when you look back on this, you'll certainly have some tales to tell. And when people talk about the spring and early summer of 2020, you certainly will have some stories, I'm sure, about your experiences of um, learning during lockdown. So, as I say, I do a quiz every Friday. It's a general knowledge quiz, but this quiz is slightly longer. There's 28 questions, and I've aimed them at sort of 10, 11 year olds. So hopefully, there's something in there for everybody. There's a range of topics, and I hope that you, you know at least some of the answers, you might know them all. And how you do it is up to you. You might be doing it with a group of friends, you might be doing it in a classroom, you might be doing it at home with your family. So that's up to you. Um, because of recording, you can stop and pause it where you need to. And before we start, I just want to give a bit of a shout out, as they say, to some, some special um, primary school leavers. I'd like to say hello to Braden, my nephew, and all his friends in St. Lawrence Primary School. And I'd also like to say hello to Mia and her friends at Terman Canis Primary School and Ellen and her friends at Ballykelly Primary School. Um, Mia and Ellen, I know your mummies very well and of course I know you also. And also to anybody who's watching this at Nettlebed Community School or at Valley Road Primary School, Orchard Meadow Primary School, Ranica Primary School, Round Tower Integrated Primary School. Hello to all of you and I hope you're all doing really well. So we'll get started, as I say, there's 28 questions and let's see how we get on. So let's get started. The first question, I'm going to show you a landmark and the question is, what is the name of this landmark and where would you find it? Which city would you find it? So there is that landmark all lit up at night. And the question is, what is the name of this landmark and where would you find it? Question two is a maths question. What is five squared? What is five squared? Question three is all about geography. What is the largest lake in the British Isles? What is the largest lake in the British Isles? And question four, history following geography. Where and in what year was Harold II of England defeated by William the Conqueror? So where and in what year was Harold II of England defeated by William the Conqueror? Question five is a nature question. Frogs, toads, snakes, crocodiles and lizards are all examples of which class of animals? So frogs, toads, snakes, crocodiles and lizards are all examples of which class of animals? Question six, music question. Who had a hit in 2019, so last year, with the song, Someone You Loved? So who had a hit last year with Someone You Loved? Question seven, it's a literature question. Cressida Cowell is the current children's laureate. What is her most famous series of novels called? They're now also a film. So Cressida Cowell is the current children's laureate. What is her most famous series of novels called? And question eight, it's another maths question. Which of these numbers is not a prime number? Which is not a prime number? Seven, 11, 21, 17, 23. 7, 11, 21, 17, 23. Question nine is sport. On a netball team, which two positions can score or shoot? So which two positions on a netball team can score or shoot? Question 10 
Question 10, it's another geography question. On which continent would you find the Great Wall of China, the Taj Mahal, Mount Fuji and the River Ganges? So on which con continent would you find the Great Wall of China, the Taj Mahal, Mount Fuji and the River Ganges? And question 11, a science question. What are the seven colours of the rainbow? And you'll be able to give yourself a bonus point if you can name them in order. So what are the seven colours of the rainbow? And we've seen lots of rainbows in the last few months supporting all our wonderful key workers, our NHS staff. So the seven colours that make up the rainbow. Question 12 is another literature question. Whose books have included holes? There's a boy in the girl's bathroom, fuzzy mud and the Wayside School series. So whose books have included holes? There's a boy in the girl's bathroom, fuzzy mud and the Wayside School series. Question 13 is a history question. And I know a lot of you will have studied this topic. So during World War Two, children were taken out of the cities and towns to live with families in the countryside. And what were those children known as? So during World War Two, children who were taken out of the cities and towns to live in countryside with families were known as what? Question 14, another nature question. True or false? Male penguins, my favourite animal, guard the eggs while the female penguin collects the food. So is that true or false that the male penguin guards and actually incubates the egg while the female penguin goes off in search of food. And we're now at the halfway mark. So there's 28 questions and that was question 14. So question 15, it's about films. Films such as Toy Story, The Incredibles, Monsters Inc, Inside Out and Onward were all made by which animation studio? So which animation studio made Toy Story, The Incredibles, Monsters Inc, Inside Out and Onward. Question 16, it's about words. What's the name for a word that mimics the sound of the object or action it refers to? So words like boom, bang, crash. What's the name that we give to those type of words or what's the name that we give to that feature? Question 17 is a sport question. Which one of these football stadiums is not in London? Stamford Bridge, Anfield, White Hart Lane, Craven Cottage. So which one of those is not in London? Stamford Bridge, Anfield, White Hart Lane, Craven Cottage. And question 18, it's another geography question. In which country would you find these cities? Milan, Naples, Florence and Venice. So which country would you find Milan, Naples, Florence and Venice? And question 19 this is about rounders. Now at this time of the year there have been a lot of rounders played in school so I know it's probably a bit sad we haven't been able to play rounders much this year but in a game of rounders what's the name for the member of the opposing team who stands behind the batter so then the name for the member of the opposing team who stands behind the batter in a game of rounders so question 20 i'm going to show you a logo and the question is what does this logo represent so if you saw that logo what would it tell you what would it mean And our next question, it's an art question. What are the three primary colours? So what are the three primary colours? Question 22 is a history question. Which of these products is the oldest? Soap, paint or chocolate? Which of those products goes furthest back in time? Soap, paint or chocolate? Question 23, it's a TV, pro, a TV question. Alex Humphreys, Shanika Paris and Jenny Lawrence 
are all presenters on which programme? So Alex Humphreys, Shanika Paris and Jenny Lawrence are all presenters on which programme? Question 24, it's a music question. What is the name of the recent hit by Dua Lipa which features this line? If you want to believe that anything could stop me. So the recent hit, just towards the end of last year, by Dua Lipa, which features this line, if you want to believe that anything could stop me. And I'm not going to sing it for you. Question 25, it's another sports question. And this question is about tennis. Again, a sport that we probably would have been playing at this time of the year. And in a game of tennis, what is the term used for when both players reach 40 points? So in a game of tennis, when both players reach 40 points, what's the term used? And question 26, this is a special quiz for those of you about to leave primary school. This question is about the year 2008, when some of you will have been born. And in his 2008 book, David Walliams wrote about a boy in a... And just finish that book title for me. So in his 2008 book, David Walliams wrote about a boy in a... Finish the title of the book. And question 27, our penultimate question, is about the year 2009, when again, if you're about to leave primary school, some of you will have been born in the year 2009. The film based on the sixth Harry Potter book was released in 2009. What is the title of that book? It's also the title of the film. So the film based on the sixth Harry Potter book was released in 2009. What is the title of that book and film? And our final question, and it's a maths question. By law, pupils should spend 190 days in school each year. So a primary pupil like yourselves will have spent seven years at primary. So by the time you leave primary, assuming that everything was normal, how many days would you have spent at school? 2,000, 1,330 or 1,005? So 190 days in school every year. You've been at primary school for seven years. So how many days would you have spent at your primary school? 2,000, 1,330 or 1,005? So I hope you enjoyed the quiz. As I say, it's general knowledge, so hopefully there was something in there for everyone. There'll be another video following this which will have the answers for any of the questions you weren't sure about. And all it really remains for me to do now is to wish you all the very best. Enjoy the remainder of your time at primary school, whether you're physically in the school building. I know some of you in England have gone back to school and you're working in your bubbles. And here in Northern Ireland, school officially finishes next week on Tuesday so just make the most of, of that time and looking forward to your post-primary school I know there'll be a whole host of mixed emotions but if you think back to when you went into P1 or into foundation stage into reception class and how you felt then think how you've grown and how you've matured over the last seven years so just remember that even though it seems a little bit daunting to begin with You'll, you'll find your feet and the adults in those schools will be doing everything they can to make sure certainly your first term and beyond goes as well as it possibly can and just make the most of all those experiences that post-primary school offers you and the adults out there well done to everyone whether you're a teacher we're coping with probably the biggest challenges you've experienced in your teaching career or a parent who is trying to, as we've said many times, parents during a pandemic, maybe doing your own work and your own job as well as supporting your young people. And of course, all of you young people, just well done for everyone. You know, we, we have all been in it together in some ways, but we've all had to find our own paths also. And Star Pupil will be open during the summer. I have got some slots for online activities. I'm running some booster classes, some catch up classes, and also just some general sort of just fun learning activities as well. So if any of that would be of interest to anyone, please get in touch and we can certainly have a discussion about what I can offer and maybe what you're looking for. But for now, just all the very best. Goodbye and good luck.